Alright, so I did a video talking about Utah just to kind of give people more motivation to one, grind, and two, save. Um, now, with the movie collaboration banner, if you guys aren't aware, there is going to be a second banner. There's two banners. This is going to be the secondary character that's going to be releasing with the movie collaboration. And so I just thought, you know what? Let's talk about the character because I know some people might be eager to see the potential and whether or not if it's worth saving for. Because again, out of the two, if you had to choose one, I've already said it before and I'll say it again. Yuta will be the pick, the, the number one pick. But Ghetto is also on the sideline and it's whether or not if people want it. Because I mean, let's be honest. Am I tempted? Of course I am. So let me just give you guys a bit of a rundown on this character. So, blue attacker, I kind of class him as a blue sub, uh, support sub DPS. That's kind of the role that I tend to see him as. Um, but anyway, blue typing in general. So, this is a fairly unique character in terms of him having a specific mechanic that uh, I would say you realistically want to cater to, although his passive right here does help him out tremendously when it comes to recovering 20 energy. And the reason for that being is because looking at the first skill, there was 120 melee taijutsu damage to a selected enemy. Now, the higher own cursed energy is, the greater the critical hit rate boost. That is right. The way this ghetto is working, he is working off from the cursed energy. Meaning, the more cursed energy you have, the better the skill outcome will be. For example, with the first skill. So going into the second skill, you do 181 range jutsu damage to the selected enemy. If own cursed energy is 30 or above, then you decrease the selected enemy's taijutsu damage by 25%. Very solid. If own energy cursed energy is 40 or above, increases selected enemy's jujutsu damage received by 25%. So there's basically a 10 uh, energy curse difference between the two when it comes to decreasing the taijutsu for the enemy as well as increasing the selected enemy jutsu damage received right so that's the second skill play right there then the third skill um, it's aoe 70 percent jujutsu damage of course and now if you have a high curse energy then the skill itself will do more damage yeah you, you get a greater damage boost and so going into the ultimate it's aoe 200 again if you have high cursed energy then again you'll get a greater damage boost now the issue with the ultimate is you it's, it's more of a red button it's more of a last resort because you will reduce all your cursed energy to zero so you got to be kind of wise on, where, on, on when to use it with the combination um you do range jutsu so it's just basically damage boosting of course in terms of the auto skill so when defeating an enemy so it's going to be kind of clutch for grunts of course if there's grunts around um recover own cursed energy by 10. The more enemies defeated at once, the greater the cursed energy recovery. Exclude certain cursed spirits and enemies. So, in a, I mean, well, then again, there are some AoE ness going on here in, in terms of the third skill. So basically, you would probably utilize like the first skill to get the crit boost. Maybe even if you want to chip in, no, the first skill will probably be usable. So that way, you can crit boost and crit with the third skill. And then if you have high cursed energy, then the damage boost for the third skill will be a beautiful combination. So that's kind of like the premise on how this ghetto is going to be working. Now, as I've mentioned, no. Now, I just want to get one thing cleared. Now, when it comes to the movie collaboration characters, Yuta is above ghetto. I will say that right now in terms of just the characters themselves and how helpful they are from their initial release to the longevity on the value that they hold, right? Yuta is just going to be way more valuable. Now, in no way is this me trying to tone down saying that, oh, this ghetto is horrible. No. This ghetto is extremely good too. Um, a tier below, we'll say, from Yuta, in, in, in a tier list format, right? An extremely good blue character. Again, good support play going on, um, but also holds power. Hence why I always say support sub DPS. So I guess in a team format, um, yeah, third or fourth slot is kind of where you're going to be looking at for this ghetto of course now one thing that some people might take into consideration is ah he's a blue typing and that's ultimately something to take note of and might be one of the reasons why some people might be like i've got my gojo i'm chilling and respectfully that is one way to look at it because that way you're minimizing the amount of summons that, that is being required you can focus on the single character that's going to be better off aka yuta and well at the end of the day this ghetto could appear at a later time for you oh that's yeah, that, that's one way to look at it. Now, the thing with this ghetto is that with the role that he plays and the moveset that he has, going forward, we will have newer characters that are potentially going to be on the same... I mean, well, then again, no. I think his power is a little bit more higher compared to other support 
supports or sub support DPS should we say so I'll give him that uh, and on top of that I get it with Gojo you know you run out of your seven turns so you can always resort to that play so you know there's there are certain values for this ghetto himself at the end of the day you know I'm not going to sit here and deny to say that oh he's not worth the pool it's just having two characters and two banners release and look respectfully the gacha system for Jujutsu Kaisen is old-fashioned and with it being old-fashioned it's the bane of my existence right it's super bad <laughs> so yeah, you know when it comes to in a situation like these we just have to focus on the character that's going to be best for us long term wise and that's kind of the situation here um but i will say uh being able well having the advantage play for the tai juice is not too bad having that cursed energy play originally i thought it was going to be uh a bit of a a weird one so that was probably going to kind of throw me off but again there are ways to go about with having support characters that can provide you with the curse energy recovery you also have the um passive which is extremely handy to have plus 20 every turn so that's going to be pretty solid uh thankfully the first uh skill does give you that crit boost so that's going to be very uh well that's going to have a huge advantage play of course because again that's going to link very nicely to the skill three um, and on top of that you do have uh, memory cards that can also give you uh i think like the lower rarity ones like rares and srs there are ones that can give you plus 10 um, so technically speaking, every round you can get that plus 30 kicking in. So I guess if you do choose to run Ghetto, that might be feasible in terms of just making sure that the rotation's in, that you are getting your maximum amount of cursed energy. Because if that is the case, then respectfully, at that point, yeah, Ghetto is going to be an absolute threat. Because at that very moment, your you, your skills are going to have that consistency of the additional because of the high amount of cursed energy that he has. It all comes down to on the, the, the cursed energy and the amount that you can recover. So... Build, t building a team around him will probably be more optimal rather than him kind of being thrown in a team around, I don't know, let's say Gojo and whatnot, etc. Of course, just kind of being like, ah, you're a good so uh, sub uh, support sub DPS, we'll just throw you in. I mean, you want to maximize his, out uh, his output, right? I mean, it is usable to use him as a support sub DP DPS, not cape to his cursed NG and just kind of run it as is because you can technically still use him but it'll be a more of a slow pace type of deal right you can have to you're gonna have to utilize him at certain rotations um but overall he is not a bad character uh i, I personally would wouldn't like after you pull for yuta look if you get lucky and you pull yuta within a one or two multi situation then if you want to throw a couple of multis in go for it but I think Yuta will be more than enough. I think with our accounts, everyone's starting off with Gojo. I think we're sitting pretty comfortably. And with the alternative play with support characters, I mean, yeah, I just don't feel like Geta right now will be a character that us free to play players need to really concern ourselves with. But I'm going to be honest, like I say, if I pull Yuta early on, I'm not going to hold back. I'm probably going to throw like a few multis when we wanted to. Like, you know, if you want to go for him, then do as you please. All the best to you. I'm going to say it right now, if I pull Yuta early on, I'm going to throw a couple of multis. We'll see where things take us. But I just wanted to put some respect on Ghetto's name to be like, yeah, he's got power, he's good. I mean, we'll get the, the, the gameplay is really just kind of show him off, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's all I really want to kind of talk about. So that's kind of the premise on how this character is functioning. Somewhat unique, all about Cursed NG, but the end results for this unit is going to be very, very nice as a support sub DPS.